Hello and welcome to a NumExcel 1.6 tutorial. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to perform a principal component analysis using NumExcel. I'll use the socioeconomic data from a 1976 textbook by Harmon for our example. The five variables represent total population, median school years, total employment, miscellaneous professional services, and median house value. Each observation represents one of 12 census tracts in the Los Angeles Standard Metropolitan Statistical Area. To start, select an empty cell in your worksheet, locate and click on the PCA icon in the Excel tab. A principal component analysis wizard pops up. Next, select the cells range for your input data. Each column responds to a variable. Once the input data is selected, the Options and Missing Values tabs will become available. Let's select the input data. Once that is done, in the Options tab, a list of the analysis methods is available. Let's display only the statistics about the principal components. Uncheck the input variables. In the Missing Values tab, leave the default selection, which removes observations with any missing values. Click OK. The wizard displays three separate tables. The first table shows the variance for each principal component, its proportion of overall variation in the sample. The table in the middle gives the loading or weights for each input variable in every principal component. Please note that the input variables are standardized throughout the analysis. The third table shows the corresponding values for the principal components. Next, we decide that using the first three principal components is sufficient to represent all the information in a data set. Let's generate the input variables using those three principal components. Select an empty cell in your worksheet and click on the PCA icon again. Select the input cells range. In the Options tab, this time uncheck the Principal component. Set the number of PCs to 3. Let's leave the missing values as it was before and click OK. The wizard generates three more tables. The first table displays the percentage of variance in each input variable that our three PCs are capturing. The next one shows the loading or weights of each PC in every input variable. Finally, the last one computes the fitted values for each input variable using only the first three PCs. Note that our output is dynamic, so if you wish to change the number of PCs, just edit the cell with the yellow background. Now let's plot the first input variable and its fitted value. The three PCs accounted for 98% of the variation in the population variable. Finally, let's plot the second input variable, median school years in each district, and its fitted value. The three PCs accounted for 91% of the variation in the median school years variable. This is it for now. Thank you for watching. 